Hey, good morning, Monday morning, tea time with Mick. I hope your 4th of July was a great holiday. Let's get into it. What do you say as we jump into a new week? Matthew 16, verses 21 to 28. The story of Jesus and Peter having a little discussion about what is the most important. Jesus warns his disciples they're headed to Jerusalem and there he would suffer. He would even be killed, but he would rise from the third day. Peter pulls him aside and what does he say? Jesus, you can't talk like this. People don't follow dead men. And Jesus looks at Peter and says, Satan, get behind me. He knows the temptation comes from Satan himself to try to keep him from doing the mission in which the father had told him to do. And he looked at Peter and he loved him. And he said, Peter, what does it profit a man if he gains the entire world but loses his soul? He says, if you want to follow me, you must pick up your cross and follow me. Die to yourself. That is the key. And as I look at this verse, I think the key is what profits us if we gain the entire world, yet we lose our own soul. You see, we've kind of Americanized Jesus, have we not, in today's world? We made Jesus in our own way of thinking so that we somehow profit from all of it. Peter was there. Peter was all about Jesus, was he not? He, was, he left everything to follow Jesus. He, he would do whatever Jesus wanted, but really he had an angle. It was about him being a part of Jesus's inner circle. It was about him sitting at Jesus's right hand side when the kingdom arrived. It was about a physical kingdom. He, he really had an angle and, uh, and Jesus was kind of trying to help him understand that it was way bigger than what he had thought. We do the same thing, we're just like Peter. And yet I tell us today, let's just let that verse ring loud and clear into our hearts today. What does it profit us if we gain the entire world but lose our own soul? We must, if we're going to follow the crucified Jesus and then the resurrected Jesus, we have to destroy the ideology of the Americanized Jesus, which would be reject greatism, um, that I have to be great in order to be uh, fulfilled and not just um, reject being great, but reject being successful. Success is not a bad thing, but if that's the end goal, you will find it as a slippery slope that will never be able to provide what you believe it needs to and should in your own life. You also must, as you look at the crucified Jesus, you must embrace um, failure and uh, suffering. Embrace it, don't run from it. Jesus said, as they did to me, so they're going to do to you. You need to understand that Jesus never called us and told us, scripture never said, we're gonna have a happy ever after life. He said that one day in the kingdom, when the kingdom is fully established, then everything will be as it should. But in the meantime, he said, I will be closer than a brother. I will be with you to the very end. I will, my strength will give you everything you need. And if you, are, if you are for me, what can be against you? And you can do all things through me. Those are truths that, he, that we hold on to in the midst of the struggle in which we find ourselves today. So what are, you, what are you shooting after? What is your goal for today? What are the things that are most important in your life? It should be the kingdom. It should be the things that Jesus tells us is to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength and love our neighbors, ourselves. These things will take us into the kingdom as people of great hope and great accomplishment. But we must destroy the ideology of the Americanized Jesus and understand the crucified and follow the crucified Jesus and his resurrection because that's what it's all about. My prayer is that you and I are able to do that. Again, I say to you, what does it profit if a man if, or a woman, if she or he gains the entire world, but loses his soul? I want to gain the kingdom. What about you? Because he loves you. He always has and he always will. He goes before you and behind you and absolutely nothing can take you out of his hands. I pray you have a blessed week. And to this truth, I say, all right and amen. <laughs>